Hello everybody, this is Accelerator and welcome you welcoming you to another episode of Terraria. Uh so it's been a long time since I recorded and I apologize for that. I actually explored this area up here a little bit and found some stuff. I don't remember exactly what I found, but it was I think I found like a broken spear or something like that. Nothing that was really all that worth it. Um uh, I did, as you saw, there was a pot I broke a second ago that, in which you saw an iron skin potion. So that's pretty neat. Wait, or did I accidentally? Uh, sh no, I didn't show this. Yeah, okay. So, as you can see, I just found some stuff. Uh, I, f I think I found a chest, uh, but I, um, emptied it out and broke it. I don't remember. Anyway, you saw whatever we just found. So, today... So anyway, I said this in the description of my last, um, Dracula X video, but, um, I've just been knee-deep, well, no, we knee-deep didn't even describe it, I've been really deep in college preparation, all the forms you have to fill out, signing up for classes and all that stuff, it's almost done, I'm gonna be leaving, uh, for college on August 10th, and, uh, don't worry, if anything, my videos will actually get a steadier upload schedule when I leave. <coughs> so, anyway, um, so in this episode we're gonna go spelunking. Blowpipe, uh, I don't recommend it at all. Especially if it's gonna give you a slow one. Um, it does, however, if you really need, if you really need a projectile attack, if for whatever reason you can't get get your hands on arrows, uh, it does allow you to use seeds, which can come from grass, to, uh, to use as ammunition. Oh, that was when I found the broken spear. I just, I end up just selling the broken spear. Spears can be used for weapons, but you gotta know how to use them correctly, and it's hard to use a broken one, right? So, caves are a lot more dangerous than even the overworld at night. You definitely want to try to get a, some piece of copper armor and a copper broadsword if you can even before you go under here because you'll find some monsters that simply will not give up um but yeah so another thing that's new to this episode is glow sticks they're basically like torches except they don't stick to walls and they work underwater and you throw them it's a torches are a much better light source but underwater obviously you really can't use them but caves are pretty common in Terraria. You'll find all your higher level ores here. Uh, you'll find iron a lot more frequently. You'll find much bigger veins of copper. You'll find, and I'm, you can find silver and gold on the surface, but it's incredibly rare. And silver and gold are more commonly found in caves. I've always found that gold for me is the hardest one to get. Like even harder than like some of the really higher tier ores. Even I found that gold is harder to find than that. Um, and the thing is, they have a, a potion you can make called the Spelunker Potion, which lights up ores, uh, so that you can see the ones that are even in those dark walls and everything like that, and you can even see them. The problem is it actually uses one gold ore, not bar, ore, uh, to craft. Um, so really, you have to get lucky with your first vein of gold, honestly. But anyway... Yeah, that's that. See, like, these yellow slimes are much bigger and badder enemies. They deal more damage. Oh, we, oh yeah, see, no, we got lucky here. We got a huge vein of gold ore and a silver ore right next to it. Or is that iron? I can't tell. It's been a while since I played this. Um, but, yeah, uh, basically, these next few days, uh, I'm going to record like crap so that later I can upload. Uh on a more consistent basis. I am going to the beach Monday through Thursday uh, this upcoming week after this video is uploaded, but uh, I might be able to get one upload up if I can find some way to sort of schedule an upload. I'm not sure uh, if I have the rights to do that, but we'll see. Or maybe I could at least upload it uh, beforehand and make it private. Or something like upload it on the same day as something else and make it private. Um, anyway, 
So yeah, another thing you have to be careful of in caves is there's oftentimes a lot of water. Uh, I stopped there for a second because uh, my phone rang. I remember that. Actually, my phone rang and it was my mom and she was calling me to like literally like go out. Some like uh, she needed something brought to her school. So uh, I had to stop that. But anyway, that was a long time ago. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, this is good. Life crystal. Uh, that's this is why you want to make sure you have a hammer. Just uh, you click uh, with it selected, whether it's on your hot bar or on your mouse, whatever, and it will give you 20 extra health. Uh, and you you will want to find as many of those as you can. The good news is, by the time you need them, they're actually pretty common. So, well, I mean, not really. You need them as early as possible, but. Oftentimes, they're they're pretty com they're actually fairly common underground. They're easy. I find I find I'll say this much: they're easier to find than gold. I'll say that much. Um. So anyway, yeah, we're just in here collecting a bunch of stuff. That's about all spelunking is really. I probably won't show any future spelunking trips unless we find something that's worth noting. I'll probably uh, just have the re like have the recorder um, there on standby. Just in case. Oh, by the way, just the way water physics work, whatever, what I just did, uh, you can do that. You can dig up in a submerged area, and it, it'll, it'll make an air pocket for you. Um, but anyway, so future spelunking trips I probably won't show unless we find like a new item that's really worth mentioning. Um, so yeah. What's that? Um... Well, that's one problem I have times finding caves is that I end up like running out of I don't want to say running out of space because I mean it's like and this gets better as you go along when you get faster pickaxes but I find that you always have to just randomly dig into walls a lot Yeah, it's, it's always weird that I found that despite the fact that gold is actually low tier compared to what you can get, um, I, I just, it's just odd that it's that I find it so hard to get. Like even the highest uh, tier of ore, access, technically accessible, not really accessible, but kind of accessible to us right now, is easy. It's the easiest to find. It's a pain in the butt to get, but it's the easiest to find. Um, and then the one right above gold, Demonite. I'm going to explore that Demonite armor, which is the tier above gold. Um, like that. I mean, it's rare to find it underground. You can find it underground, but honestly, you get most of your... You get most of that from fighting bosses. So I'm, I'm kind of skipping over that copper. I'm not sure why. Probably should be getting because I still don't even have a full set of copper armor. Probably should be getting it. But, eh. Whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure why I did that. Why I skipped over it. I guess I just didn't feel like mining it, but that's kind of. I don't know. Probably I should have gotten it, honestly. I mean, a vein that big, at the very least, you can sell it. I mean, goodness gracious. Uh, speaking of selling, for those of you interested in finding easy ways to make money, uh, there's an interesting glitch that I might show off later that you can do with a chest and uh, some act at a button. Basically, whenever you find a boulder trap, which, uh, if we ever see one, I'll point it out. But basically, uh, this is, a, this is an interesting glitch you can do whenever you find a boulder trap to, to rapidly create, or to rapidly clone chests. And uh, I'll probably show it off on a different save file, uh, but it's quite an interesting glitch. It's kind of fun to use, but it completely breaks the game in terms of, you know, your, your money making. Like... 
but it's actually fairly difficult to make money early on. Not so much later. It gets it gets pretty easy uh, after a certain point in the game that I'm not gonna spoil. But anyway, there here's okay. So let's uh, let's talk about this. 1.2 for Terraria. For, for those of you Terraria veterans who've been a long who've been long time fans of the game, uh, you know as you know Terraria 1.2 is coming out. And honestly, they talk about all these new items and stuff that's in it, but honestly, the feature I'm most excited for uh, is the overhauled character creation system, because I just want to see what they would do with it. Like, honestly, th that's one thing I like about a game like Terraria, is that you make your own character and everything. It's just that uh, in Terraria, it's kind of limited, and it's, you don't... I mean, it doesn't really change anything, and oftentimes with the armor, it doesn't really matter because you can't really see whatever features you made to your character unless you uh, buy certain vanity items later on in the game, but that, that's besides the point. Um, I always like a game where you can create your own character because it feels like you're adding a little bit of you in it. And especially in a game like this where you can do whatever you want, essentially. Um, it, I really, I really enjoy it. So I mean, just that's that's honestly the part I'm most excited for. I mean, I know they have all these new armors. Like I think there's a dragon armor or something that's might be coming in or something. Apparently, there's going to be some sort of rain event where the goldfish walk. I don't know. Um, but I'm I'm interested to uh, for it to come out. And uh, the last date I read was mid July. Either mid or late July, I don't remember. But it's July now. So I'm, I'm super excited. I can't wait for it. I mean, that's always one of those weird things. Like, you don't want to rush the dude that did it. Because it's like, if you rush him, he's just going to make it crappy, buggy stuff. But, um, but yeah, at the same time, you just can't wait. You don't want to wait. I mean, you know? Oh, man. I have the same feeling about Mega Man X Corrupted, but that's a completely different topic for a completely different day. Um, anyway. Uh, I do have the PS3 port for Terraria. Um, I don't like it as much. Uh, for one, all the new content is just reskinned old content. Uh, besides the new boss, which I haven't gotten to yet, because... Ridiculous. Uh, so we're finished our spelunking section. Also, uh, yeah, Terraria is one of those games where you can tell it's definitely meant for your mouse and keyboard. You try to play it on the PS3 port with a controller, and it it works. It works about as well as you, as it could possibly as it could. Excuse me. It works about as well as it could possibly work. You know, like you give the developers credit for making it work, but it barely works. And again, it's meant for mouse and keyboard. You can't really make it work with the controller. So I'm being indecisive here. And I didn't notice this whole time I'm over here making crap like this uh, iron broadsword I just made. This silver pickaxe. Um, this is when I get the idea, you know what, I should make my copper armor set first. So anyway... While I'm over here making stuff, the guide is over there bashing his head against the wall. I didn't notice that while I was playing. I just noticed it while I was editing this, and it's hilarious. So anyway, we just made a full set of copper armor. Uh, the only set bonus for copper armor is a defense boost. But anyway, we're going to sell our stuff, and I'm going to see you guys next time, all right? This has been Accelerator, and I'll see you guys next time we play Terraria. I have no idea what we're going to do, uh, but we will find out. This has been Accelerator, and I'll see you guys next time.